Hello guys welcome to Loxio Tech YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial, I will show you how to install the Debian 11 Bullsite Linux distribution operating system alongside your Windows operating system. First, you need to download the Debian OS ISO file from its official website. Open any browser and type www.debian.org slash distrib slash. On the web page, you can see a complete installation image and a 64-bit PC torrent DVD file. This image contains more packages and it's easier to install without an internet connection. Click the 64-bit PC torrent file to download it. You can use any torrent client to download the ISO image. Wait to finish the download process. Or you can check the web link in the description box, which can directly download the Debian OS without using any torrent client. After downloading, you need to create a bootable USB disk. Download Rufus to create bootable pen drive. Open Rufus and connect the pen drive. Set the device as a pen drive. Then upload the downloaded Debian ISO image and click start to create a bootable Debian USB. Wait to finish the process. If you have any doubts to create bootable USB using Rufus, then check the link in the description about creating bootable USB using Rufus. After creating a bootable disk, the next step is to create an unpartitioned space for installing Debian OS. Open the Windows search box and type disk, then open create and format disk partitions. Here 127.29 GB primary C drive partition. The other two partitions are system partitions. Right click on C drive and open shrink volume. Here I need at least 64 GB free space to install Debian. Enter the amount of space to shrink in MB, 64,000 and click shrink. Now 62.50 GB unallocated free space available for Debian installation. Plug the bootable USB pen drive and restart the system. Go to BIOS and set the first booting device as USB UEFI. Check your motherboard manual to find the BIOS or booting key. Right here, boot from Debian ISO file. Select Graphical Install and hit Enter. Select the language and click Continue. Then select the region or country. Configure the keyboard layout and click Continue. Please wait to load the components and other configurations. Enter the host name and click Continue. Leave the domain name blank and click Continue. Set the root password and username. Click Continue and enter the user password. Configure the clock region and click Continue. Set the partition method to Use the largest continuous free space and hit enter. And select the option, all files in one partition and click continue. Here is the list of disk partitions. A total of four partitions are available. 66.1 GB XT4 format and 1 GB for swap area are allocated for Debian OS. Select, finish partitioning and write changes to disk and click continue. Here is the list of partitions to be formatted. Partition 5 and 6 formatted to XT4 and swap file systems respectively. Select Yes and click Continue. Debian OS installation started. Wait to finish the installation process, which will take some time to complete. Select No and click Continue. Then configure the Package Manager Server Country and click Continue. Set deb.debian.org as Archive Mirror Package and click Continue. Leave the proxy information blank. Click Continue to finish and configure the Package Manager.
select No and click Continue in the Package Usage Survey section. Select the default software package you want to install and use in Debian OS. Here is Debian Desktop Environment, GNOME, Standard System Utility, Mate, Web Server, SSH Servers, etc. are available. Click Continue to install the selected software package. Please wait to complete the installation process. Debian installation successfully completed. Click Continue to finish the installation and restart the system. Right here, Debian Dual Boot Manager. Here you can select the operating system Debian or Windows 11. Select Debian and enter the password. Here is your Debian 11 OS. If you want to install more software or driver packages, then please check the link in the description to install related hardware drivers or software packages. Hope you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share with your friends and also post your valuable comments too. Have a nice day and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.